an end here. And get set to take on Las Vegas. Man, Brian Jordan. I'm Christian Miles and Brian, well, playoffs, however, everything to play for tonight for the visitors. That's right. They're coming into this. If they take full three points, they are in. For Oakland away to Pittsburgh, a victory we'll see last night. Take a look at some of the big players to watch. Cal Jennings. They do. That's quite an To the game on the season. Got 11 goals and six hill will be very dangerous for the Galaxy defense. And yeah. provide that creative catalyst role just as a pipeline and a conduit but from midfield to the attack on the five losses in their last six but a bright spot has been Cameron Dunbar all season. Sure, the consistency he has coming to the field, he's got 11 goals and three assists in the campaign. Um, the tendency will bring them through and probably put them on the board. Again, to Atlanta United. But tonight, they look to finish. Elevens and have the, the first half kickoff. It's LA Galaxy 2. Now is the time to act. Esta gente te ama. Remember, legends never die. And welcome back. Starting 11s, we begin with Las Vegas Lights FC. Torres comes in, Chrysostomo in a holding. A little bit. Uh, uh, most teams. That so that's how it shapes up for head coach Enrique Du. Coming off a disappointing midweek loss to New side, but there's some big shoes to fill. Natural nine, but he has five goals. And got on the stat sheet when he's needed. So we'll be looking. Unable to go. They do welcome Carlos Harvey. Back forges itself really a 4 3 3 to United last Sunday. And of course, the record of 11 16 and 6 on 39 points. And it sees them well adrift of the playoffs, seven out of that last spot. So we'll see how it transpires for them. They take on the Las Vegas Lights team in the ninth position with everything to play for. Two points adrift of Oakland Roots, who own that last final playoff spot in the seventh position in the West, a victory will see Vegas usurp them. Marcelo Sarvis, of course, is about his seventh game in charge, coming in mid-season in relief of Johan Demay, who was promoted to the first team. He's a guy you know pretty well. Yeah, looking very, very handsome, as you can see here. Uh, <laughs> I've gotten to know him off the field now, too, and how he looks at the game. Very critical, likes what he likes and doesn't like what he doesn't, and uh, I think so much of this guy. Yeah, told me it was about simplifying the approach, and Enrique Duran, the Spaniard, in charge of the visitors, and we are underway. It'll be Vegas in the dark strip going from right to left across your screen. Everything to play for tonight. They will come out with plenty of incentive. Well, Alley Galaxy 2, they'll try to emulate the success of the senior team, which advanced on to the Western Conference semifinals of Major League Soccer with a 1-0 win against Nashville on this very same surface just a matter of hours ago. They're looking for a continuation of that success. Here's Frank DeRoma, the little number 20 from Sierra Leone. A creative catalyst in his own right, puts it into the path for an onside Danny Treo, who pops up on this left-hand side, and a good piece of 1v1 defending from the G2 fullback, Owen Lamb. Yeah, in this last place, two balls kind of get slipped in behind Tejas, and a, 
weird position gets caught where the ball slips in. You've had their problems with dead balls. Struggled against Atlanta United too. We'll see what's on offer here on this near side on the in swinger and well dealt with by Axel Asingue. Cameroonian met it head on, but possession all too short lived. Treo couldn't dig it out. And it'll come out wide here for Paolo Rudisil, the young teenager. Rudisil got the start on Wednesday night after coming on as a sub on Sunday and now getting his first start here at home as a professional. He's a highly rated youngster out of the LA Galaxy Academy, which Marcelo Sarvis knows very well after rising through the Galaxy youth system to take on these LA Galaxy 2 head coaching duties. And here is Brandon Dea is also making his first professional start after making his debut as a sub on Wednesday night. Dea is thrust into that central midfield role, operating in tandem really with Sal Dania, who sprays it out wide for Owen Lamb. And Lamb drops that shoulder. Here's Remy Cabral in that pocket of space on the switch. And arriving is the left fullback in Josh Drack. Drack trying to pump one in, seeking out the likes of Michael Salazar, and it's easily repelled by that Vegas defense. Yeah, great possession for the G2 there, but just that lost quality of the cross just wasn't there. So here's Lamb back to Axel Asingue, who keeps his spot in central defense, preferred to Dante Campbell. Remember Jalen Neal unable to go. Big loss for LA Galaxy 2, and they've had to deal with some chopping and changing. Carlos Harvey's played in that role. Jalen Neal, the preferred tandem, our partner for Liam Doyle throughout most of the campaign, but unable to go through injury tonight. So it's a Singue playing it forward now for Tellez and into the path now for the bustling Michael Salazar. The Belizean working his way through, and it's Salazar with a decent effort, twisting and turning, but that work ethic really conjuring up that attempt. Yeah, a lot of little touches in that play. Gets the defender kind of misfooted in between both of them. Um, does his best to get it on his right foot and uh, gives it a good shot back post. Oh, I see what he was complaining about. He's complaining about his taking the deflection and it indeed did. Uh, just went missed from referee there. Yeah. LA feeling a little bit aggrieved. These two battled to a 1-1 draw back in April at Cashman Field. And it hasn't been happy hunting for Las Vegas, a team that's taken just one win in their previous 12 encounters against Los Dos. So Vegas in possession now. Here's Frank DeRoma. Cal State San Bernardino playing it wide for the former UC Irvine man, Alvaro Quesada, supported by Lara. And here's the experience, Danny Crisostomo in central midfield. Provides a lot of that steady leadership, the stabilizer, as they say, in that number six position. Here's Julian Gaines, and all the way back to the goalkeeper, a very familiar face, former LA Galaxy 2 man, Abraham Romero, who called Carson home for a couple of years. One thing I'm noticing a little bit early here is uh, G2 seems to be pressuring a little bit higher up the field than I usually see them the pressuring. I don't know if that's just a game tactic for tonight or something they see against Las Vegas, but definitely higher up the field. They you know, Brian, they could play with freedom right now. Ah, no sure. pressure on them to make the playoffs. Sure. Their fate is already sealed. They will not be qualifying. A lot of those times it's one of the most dangerous opponents you yeah. can take on yeah. if you're Las Vegas. Free to do, do as you please, yep. Here's Salazar dropping into his own half, supported by Tellez, who gives it away. And Treo, only too happy to oblige. The man from Morelia, Mexico, deferring to Daroma. And Daroma cutting it back inside, perfectly played up for Almaguer, who plays it wide for the fullback. Julian Gaines, who's joining in, and Gaines drops that shoulder, nicely tended to by Drac. Picked up by Chrysostomo. So it'll be Tony Leone and Alex Lara, the center back pairing tonight for the visitors. Come in on the back of a three game unbeaten run. Most recently disposing of the Miami FC, the 3 2 win at Cashman on Sunday night, ending an eight game unbeaten run for the Floridians. 
It's a team that's peaking at just the right time. And they're hoping it continues this evening as it's last off of Cabral and out for a Las Vegas throw in. Jerome finding himself in some really positive spots just in behind his uh, midfielders, and he's been pretty dangerous in this early going. Lara. All the way back to Abramero, who spent 2019 and 2020, those difficult COVID seasons with LA Galaxy 2 after coming through the Pachuca youth system as a youngster. Here's Quesada now at left fullback tonight. Dropping it centrally as Jorge Almaguer. They'll work it wide now for Gaines. Lara. So 4-3-3 tonight for Marcelo Sarvis. Kind of dual number sixes with Tejas providing that double pivot alongside Saldana, who's been known to sit in front of the back four, play the role of distributor and destroyer, mm -hmm. all in the same. Your player that's well acquainted with things out there. A big night for the fullbacks here. The Galaxy really predicating a lot of their success in those wide areas. Sure. And two, especially what we talked about, their tandem up top puts defenses under a lot of pressure. So they'll have their hands full, but. Be a throw in here for Owen Lamb. The Cal State Fullerton man. A long searching ball trying to pick out Michael Salazar. Third game running. LA Galaxy 2 having to do without their talisman. Preston Judd with 13 goals on the campaign was off to a blistering run this season. Had some bouts within discipline. Mm -hmm. And it's played into the path now. Trejo and out comes the keeper but the flag is up offside against Las Vegas's Danny Trejo, a player that's been full of goals this entire season. As we get a look back here, this is a great job to slip this in behind, but I think Lamb did very good to keep his line, and so that's why he's losing this race here. He held his line, and then that's why Trejo's offside. There's a Singue. 19-year-old from Cameroon, partnering the experienced Liam Doyle. Doyle playing in all but one game this season. Played more minutes, the Iron Man of sorts, than anybody in a mm. LA Galaxy 2 shirt and a foul. Treo arguing his case, but it's going to fall upon the deaf ears of the referee. Yeah. Does a good job to shield this ball off. It's not much contact there for me, but I can see it. Salazar facilitating its onside. Cameron Dunbar looking to put it on his right. It's Michael Salazar. And some emergency defending from Las Vegas, who were really out of sorts. Yeah, Dunbar, what a slipped little ball here. This was a tricky one. Gets right in, in between two defenders as we look at this. Oh, what a pass. Gets on the end of it and was only able to kind of take a half look at goal. Gets it off the topo, but gets a corner for the LA Galaxy 2. Salazar looking to part. Trying to continue his good form after scoring in that losing effort on Wednesday night in Albuquerque. Here's Remy Cabral deferring to track on the in-swinger. Nicely dealt with by Alex Lara, who heads it clear. Trejo into the path now for Christian Torres. This, of course, the academy team for LAFC, so a little bit of an El Trafico <laughs> flavor to this yeah. one. Yep. Ahead, of course, the big playoff clash <laughs> yeah. on Thursday night. We'll see LA Galaxy pay a visit to LAFC. And the youngsters would like to emulate the senior team and its success team that's based in LA. They travel out to Vegas for their home games, so no travel for them as they train at the LAFC facility. Here's Cal Jennings trying to put it into the path for Christian Torres to no avail. You know, looking like another home game for them, missing that bus ride over to Las Vegas, right? 
Went on their travels this season, taking 20 points. That ranks his seventh best in the Western Conference coming into today's fixtures. Here's Owen Lamb, and it gets caught by Torres, but wins the throw. Five wins, six defeats, and five draws for Lights on the Road this year in 2022. Lovely ball from Salazar to release the Frenchman, Remy Cabral, slithering his way through, but eventually caught by Lara. This is Torres, the 18-year-old. He's just horse-collared here, and I am going to be booked for it. Dangerous play from the Galaxy fullback and the first man caution tonight. Yeah, this one's a, a difficult one because as your guy takes it down the line here, his elbow is just a little high, catches him right in the chin, and that's the dangerous part because anything to the head or face, you know, you never know if he goes to the, the back pocket there. Yeah, he considered himself fortunate. Just the third booking. It's really not Lamb's reputation. Clearly caught out of position. Yeah. With that, with that arm raised, though, you are risking that red. We've seen him give him for less. Yeah, yeah, that's that's for sure. So really a 4-2-4 when in possession with their full backs high. This is really an attacking lineup. And Enrique Duran is put out. They want to go for it. A draw doesn't do them any good. They need maximum points tonight. Here's Avro Quesada. Trying to play it through. A good movement from Almaguer. Supported well by DeRoma, hovering around that Galaxy penalty area. DeRoma, a live wire. Chrysostomo now joining in, trying to play it down that right-hand side, and it's a timely intervention from the Galaxy defender, Josh Drack, deferring to Diaz, the 17-year-old. On this last play, Jennings checked back so much that he was able to pull one of our center backs out and they're finding space in behind there. So that was very dangerous for G2. Higher pressure. And Lopez calmly playing out for Drac in space. Dunbar. Tellez. Mexico under 18 at the international level. My way of Fullerton here in Southern California. Here's Adam Saldana on the big switch for the right back, Lamb. Lamb looking to combine, and it's nicely picked up here by Salazar. Galaxy settling into their possession. Tellez, this is Adam Saldana, really is that smooth operator in the center of the park as Singue ventures forward, and is Singue. Ooh. Showing some attacking punch, Salazar into the path now for Cabral. Cabral sprays it across, and Cameron Dunbar, right place at the right time. A massive goal, his 12th of the season, and Los Dos with their first 15 minutes in. It's LA 1, Las Vegas nil. And this is why Dunbar was our player to watch. Watch his run as he peels off his defender. Galaxy 2 does a great job in this play to keep possession and he sprayed out right to, to Cabral. But watch him on the back post, times his run beautifully into the six yard box and just has a gift right there past the keeper already. All he has to do is get a fine little touch on it to find the back of the net. What a ball, what a play from G2. Lovely play. The architect in the beginning was Salazar, Cabral squaring it across. That ball was fizzing in. Yeah, that was a tough ball to do it. And Dunbar was really frustrated Last weekend against Atlanta United, too. Missed several opportunities. Stopped point blank range by the brilliant Vicente Reyes. Off and running. That will lift his confidence. And now Las Vegas you now put into a dire situation. Playoff hopes dented by that goal, but still plenty of football remaining. The goal coming a quarter of an hour in for Cameron Dunbar, who grabs his. 12th of the season and his ninth from the run of play. And Remy Cabral, who was thrust into a false nine roll 
on Sunday night against Atlanta United. Really comfortable on the right-hand side. He's dropped centrally here. His first touch lets him down. Quesada takes up the space. The flag is down. Here's Danny Trejo, squares it across, and the reply was nearly answered by Cal Jennings. LA Galaxy really in trouble. Wow. The dangerous duo really links up in this. Trejo finds himself slightly in behind and is able to pick out Jennings' back post, but I think it gets through. He just, uh, his legs weren't matching it, and it goes right through his legs out the back door. Very dangerous for G2. Doyle slightly mad at his defense for not stepping up earlier. You can see what the modus operandi is here for Las Vegas. They want to play higher up back pressure and win it back, such as they've done here. Here's their striker, Jennings, playing in a wide role, and he's won the corner kick, and it will be the second of the evening for Vegas. As the referee indicated goal kick, that's the situation. So, looks as though it might have come off Liam Doyle, but not the call. Nevertheless, it's a good response here yeah. from Las Vegas, from Brian. Las Vegas, yes. Uh, Trejo, I've seen him now twice almost get behind on this left side. Um, that needs to be cleaned up. Just too easy of a, of a first entry ball where he's now past all of the defenders. Las Vegas Lights looking for a USL Championship playoffs presented by Hisense. Appearance for the first time in franchise history. Here's Michael Salazar trying to dent those hopes, but it'll come back as Cabral was brought to ground. Should be noted, I've been very happy with Salazar's play so far. He's been doing very well of that number nine of keeping the ball and including with little layoffs, including the rest of his team so where they can go forward. He's a real strong presence, great hold up play. Yeah, yeah. Not a natural number nine. Sure. We've seen him play a variety of roles across the front for both Johan Deme and Marcelo Sarvis. Nice to have that versatility and flexibility when you're a little depe depleted up top without the likes of Judd. Here's Cabral. Esingue, one of three teenagers in the first 11 tonight for Marcelo Sarvis. It's a very young Los Dos team with an average age of 22.6 years. <laughs> Similar story here for Las Vegas, that their average age just around 21. These two teams, of course, affiliates with MLS teams, so development while balancing results, kind of the order of the day for them. But here's Salazar who's broken away, wide open for Cameron Dunbar, sizes it up, and Dunbar has it expertly blocked by Julian Gaines, who did really well in a difficult situation with the block. Yeah, as we think back to that play, Salazar does a great job to turn, and actually, I think, picks the most wisest play, finds Dunbar almost in a one-on-one -on -one situation, almost with time enough to get the clear shot off, um, but defense does a great job to shut that down from Gaines. Can't say enough about the season that Cameron Dunbar has had. Doesn't turn 20 until a week from today. Kid born and raised in the local Carson area by way of San Diego. Here's Salazar muscled off of it. No call from the referee. Lara wins it. Here's Jennings now. Trying to facilitate the play, dropping into a deeper roll. Trejo's gotten goal side of his singue. It's Danny Trejo stopped cold by Lopez. A brilliant piece of goalkeeping from the LA Galaxy 2 netminder. What a save. And preserving this one goal lead for LA Galaxy 2. Space opens up, Ruta still into the path. Dunbar is offside. But as far as saves go, Brian, you're not going to see much better than that. Oh, no. Lopez, very strong fist going to the back post there. One thing I really want to say is even though, here's a look at it, even though he gets beat, he has the hand up, but so many times at this level, I see a player pull, get pulled down, but he does well just to leave the hand. He's going to get the opportunity, but that's why you have Lopez in goal to make these big saves, and he does exactly that. And he shared the goalkeeping duties this year, Eric Lopez, with the likes of Richard Sanchez, but it's kind of emerged as the first choice number one in the last run of four or five games for Marcelo Sarvis. So LA Galaxy 2 surviving the scare. 
Sostomo trying to pick out Trejo. And LA able to win it back. Muscular defending from Ore Almaguer. This is Cal Jennings, and Jennings will call his own number. And once again, the outside flag is up, this time against Christian Torres. But this is a Las Vegas team that's full of all kinds of attacking movement. Yeah, they've been getting quite a few shots these last few minutes. This last one's kind of funny between forwards of uh, you taking a shot and obviously they have the playoffs on the line so it's not intentional but whenever one of your other forwards blocks your shot it's like they didn't want to get ahead of you in the stat sheet, you know? <laughs> Lamb. He dribble, dribbles himself out of possession. Las Vegas only too happy to oblige. A little ramshackle. It's going to be a yellow card here shown to Brandon Tejas on his first ever professional start. And Almaguer, the man down. Yeah, some frustration out of the visiting coach. This, like one of the fouls we saw before, um, kind of over the ball. A little bit dangerous as we get a, another look at it. Uh, as it's coming in, he's going in. Uh, it doesn't come so much as I thought, but definitely gets player and yellow cards well deserved. So Amager, player down, came through that FC Dallas youth system. Actually won a USL League One title back in 2019 with North Texas FC. Been a useful player, playing a little more advanced in attacking role from deeper in the center of the park. Confirmation of the first yellow card of Brandon Tellez's professional career. Another one of those players that's come through the youth academy. They're eyeing for the future. Yeah, we were just speaking, Christian, about the level of... Uh, <laughs> The amount of talent of these young guys coming in through the ranks has just been incredible. Technicality and everything, so. Quesada, good movement off the ball from Daroma. It's interesting, the athleticism has always been there, but the technique of this generation, this current generation, really is unrivaled, unprecedented. Given away by Jennings. Claimed by Cabral, Salazar leaves it. This is Tejas, has the option of Drac. We hit the midpoint of half number one. Great to have you along for the season finale, at least for LA Galaxy 2 here in USL Championship. It'll be their final game in this league, which has served them so well in the last number of years. Alongside Brian Jordan, I'm Christian Miles. And who else? But Cameron Dunbar with the only goal of the game. But there's been some good responses here from Las Vegas with their playoff hopes really dwindling and on the line as it goes back to Abe Romero who gives it a ride. Saldana, lovely touch for Remy Cabral. And it, referee spotting the infringement, the handball, so a free kick quickly taken by Las Vegas. to Roma for Chrysostomo, former Orange County SC man. And to Roma rounding his way past Saldana. He's a real live wire. The referee's going to call this one back, and it'll be a free kick once again for Lights. Yeah, Duramo, quick, speedy. I can get around you, slithery like a snake like that. Uh, but they've done very well to kind of do their best and shut him down, but a uh, referee decides to bring it back. There was a bit of a tug before he got to the second guy, and they get the call. That was DeRoma, who actually set up Danny Chrysostomo in the last meeting between these two in April, which was a 1-1 draw. Galaxy getting the equalizer in the second half from Dante Campbell. So throw in now for Lights. Loving hearing the brigade down there making some noise. 
Almaguer. Well won there by the man from the Isle of Man, Liam Doyle. Is that steady head in the center of defense for Los Angeles. And all the way back for Lopez, who will pop one up. Salazar will knock it forward. Dunbar has it blocked, and Rudisil is still trying to find this game. Yeah. Can't keep it, and it's popped out wide here on this left-hand side for Alvaro Quesada. You know, we haven't heard his name much, but G2 has been doing a good job of kind of skipping them, finding Salazar's feet, and he's been including and getting people up the field. So it hasn't been to their detriment so far. Here's Daroma. Just gives it away. Dunbar able to claim and find its way to Salazar. Continues his high work rate on the right-hand side, but just loses out to Quesada. Tony Leone now wide for Julian Gaines on his second season with Las Vegas. Daroma. Here's Treo in that left-sided roll and in the inside-out run from Cal Jennings. Already with 11 goals to his credit. Jennings twisting and turning. Lovely play from him as they had the supporting run laid on from Torres. Quesada a little too casual, but fouled here by Rudisil. A little over-exuberant. All 11 behind it now for Los Angeles. Quesada. Trejo. Trying to work his way past Towen Lamb. Good recovery from the Galaxy defender who has his hands full against the lively Trejo. who's gotten the better of opposing defenders more times than not in 2022. Tejas' heavy touch gets him into trouble. Nicely mopped up in that central midfield by Adam Saldana, and the long searching ball will bring out Romero. Flag had gone up anyway against Cameron Dunbar. Hey, celebrating its 75th anniversary, Select is proud to be the official match ball supplier of the USL Championship. Choose what you play with at www.selectsportamerica.com. Select league's choice, player's choice. Lara, lovely diagonal ball played onto the right hand side. Almaguer trying to pick out Treo. Out comes Lopez, and the flag had stayed down for Treo, who timed his run perfectly. Yeah, I think he was definitely on there. Lopez does a good job of shutting down the space, but kind of in that no man's land. I rather you just keep your space, trying to take away as much of the goal, then come out and really get the player there. I think he still does well to stay very big and uh, gives him only a bad option and it goes out for, for a goal kick. And it's down that what they call the, the corridor of uncertainty sure. there before the defenders between that right back and that right center back. And, and you felt it in that play for sure. It was that in-between tweener that you're just not sure of and thankfully for G2, didn't end up in a goal. So another scare for Los Angeles. Those are the service that you do want from Las Vegas, though. Those ones that the keep, it kind of commits the keeper just a bit. Smart ball that was from Rudis. Hill. Tidied up at the back by Alex Lara, the 24-year-old from Azusa. There's Marcelo Sarvis, the loyal servant. Coming through the Youth Academy, promoted to the G2 head coaching position last month with Johan Dame moving on to assist with senior team duties and underneath Greg Vanny. Here's Axel Lasingue with a long diagonal seeking out the likes of Dunbar. Well, heavy on that first touch and not even the speedy legs of Dunbar are gonna get to that one. Yeah, I think oftentimes these fast players, even though they have a good touch, the, the amount of physics they have to deal with while well, that ball's coming overhead, they're quick. You gotta slow your feet down to take a good slow touch. Uh, can't get on the end of that one, but great idea. A 
Lara. Or the Mexico under 20, Tony Leone. By way of Long Beach. Won that USL championship title last year with Orange County SC before moving on to Playa's Trey with lights. The direct ball for Trejo and his Singue trying to deal with it. It's a little too handsy yeah, from yeah. Danny Trejo all over the back of the Galaxy 2 defender. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you saw that because from my perception there, there was so much shirt tugging. Uh, and Trejo ends up getting on the better side of the ball. Um, but watch, at the very start, so he does a good job to swim him here, but after there's a little back and forth, you can see his, his fist is full of jersey. Uh, ends up in on the end of the ball, but uh, only because of the rough housing. It's a good spell for Las Vegas. Sure. Chrysostomo. Jorge Almaguer. Got some width now from Gaines. He's his head up and they sing way. Didn't hear the call from sure. Henrik Lopez, and they've given away the corner kick. If you're unsure as that center back, though, up and out is always the play. Okay, maybe you had a little bit misread from your keeper. You didn't hear something. As long as you get ahead under it and give as much time for your defense to set, even if it goes out, I'm happy with that. So here comes the out swinger, and it will be the dead ball specialist, Danny Chrysostomo. Former member of the LA Galaxy Academy way back in 2013 as a youth. It really provides a good delivery off that right foot. And the Las Vegas captain puts in a sublime ball and the Galaxy deal with it well enough. Here's Gaines trying to pick out Trejo and he pokes it home. Danny Trejo popping up at just the right time. He's done it again, it had to be him and belief restored. Las Vegas lights back on track and right back in it, 1-1. Yeah, Las Vegas' leading score never goes to sleep on this play. G2 does a good job to clear the first one, but we always say this on defense, it's always that second ball. As your team's kind of releasing, you see the ball get served back into the box. Treo does a good job to track this down as you see the second service. Gains with a nice ball back into it, takes it off his chest just past the defender Drac, I believe, and is able to poke it into the back of that game. That, that, that goal is not an easy one with that many defenders there, but ended up able to find that, that goal through. A wonderful piece of technique and perseverance. They fought their way back into it. In all honesty, they've been the better team since LA Galaxy 2 scored. A quarter of an hour in, the goal in the 34th minute, the assist going to Gaines with his first helper of 2022. What a time to get it. And now belief restored. Here's Chrysostomo. Tails are up for Las Vegas Lights. They believe they can do it. Trying to do something they've never done before and make it to USL Championship playoffs. Brought to you by Hisensei. Tejas is able to get it back. And what kind of a reply will we see from LA Galaxy 2? Salazar appealing for the foul, which he's not going to get. It's just a simple ball in that asked the questions of this Galaxy 2 defense, but they've been charitable at the back this season for LA. That's their 63rd conceded and ranking them amongst the top five worst defensive records in USL Championship. Las Vegas looking for more. And it'll come out of play. Hey, don't miss a minute of the action in 2022. Whether your club is on the road or at home, catch nearly every second of USL Championship action on ESPN+. Plus, The home to the USL, MLS, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and much, much more. You can sign up today at plus.espn.com. 10 minutes to go until halftime, and lights continue to play mostly in this Galaxy 2 half. Los Angeles, exactly a formidable home record. Seven wins in their 15 games in Carson, but lately it's gone a little bit south for them with just one in their last five here. 
Dignity Hill Sports Park. They've conceded this free kick for Chrysostomo, and this could be problematic for the hosts. They'll bring up that heavy artillery. Jennings chiefly amongst the targets, along with Lara and Leone. And Chrysostomo serves one in. I believe it was Liam Doyle with the first one to get ahead to it. Kept in by Chrysostomo as it drifts out, throw in for Los Angeles. And I think Chrysostomo thought he was going to have the throw. Yeah, I, I think as he was backing up, he saw Lamb kind of committing to it. So he tried to take a touch past it, but it had already run out by then. The only win in the last six games coming at the beginning of the month. And the Galaxy had to play a lot of the game down to 10 men against Sacramento Republic. 53 minutes down to 10 men. Salazar was sent off, LA getting a 2 0 win, but not much success to speak of in terms of results since. But it could break their way here. Saldana's located Dunbar and gets it caught on his first touch. Supported by Doyle. This is Brandon Tellez. The youngsters getting a run out tonight. Why not? Yeah. Youth shall be served. You like to see that rewarded. A young kid, you know, busting your backside at the academy and rewarded with a chance of the first 11 here in the second division of soccer in this country. A big moment for them. Yep. Of course, and what better time than one of the last games of the season, giving them a run. Bring that excitement and uh, the joy for the game. Kind of get to see what stamp they can leave on it. That was Drac who lost his footing. Rudisil couldn't combine. It'll be Las Vegas taking over possession again. They've really had a lion's share of it recently. Betting into this game. Leone. Gaines. A trio of targets gains, sidestepping everyone at Maybrick. It's Torres who fires one in. And Doyle couldn't get his feet right. It hits the referee. It stops the counterattack for LA Galaxy 2. But they will get the free kick. It happens. I guess so. I, it, this is new to me, though. So if you change the direction of the ball, I, I, I think I've seen this in the past, and you just keep playing. But if you change it that much, it just becomes a drop ball. That's a... Uh, Interesting to me. Yeah, it is an interesting decision. Clear impediment, so the Galaxy, anyway, you chop it up. Here's a look at it. If uh, It wasn't a slight deflection. He if got, he was a dodgeball player, I guess he <laughs> wouldn't be that good. <laughs> He'd be out. He'd be out. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I like working with you, Brian. <laughs> Bring, bringing in dodgeball references. Oh, man, you got to. <laughs> Have you seen some of those games? This looks so fun. I had many a fierce contest before <laughs> school back in my day. <laughs> Bring it back to the, the schoolyard, you know? <laughs> Galaxy 2 with 24 points in their 15 games here at Carson. Kind of ranks them in the lower echelons of the Western Conference at ninth best. It's been one of their Achilles heels. Here's Drac. Trying to attack the space on that left-hand side, supported by Saldana. This is Tellez. Smart ball here for Lamb. This is better pace. Constitute is trying to quicken the tempo. Here's Rudisil. Good combination play with Cabral. Rudisil squares it. Salazar, something brewing for Los Angeles. Drac. And his cross, Rudisil's header just goes astray. Couldn't quite connect with it. But the build-up play to be applauded. Yeah, wow, what a great build-up from G2. Both of the teams right now, obviously a lot of it coming from Las Vegas, the build-up. But this one, you get it out wide left to Drac. Serves a great bending ball back towards him. And I just don't think he's able to get enough on it to change direction. Uh, Rudisil does a great job, too, earlier in that play to kind of set that up and get it out wide and, and then find himself on the end of it. Quesada for Daroma. 
And Sierra Leone in caught in possession, a tug of the top from behind by Trejo, witnessed by the referee. Less than five minutes left in this first half. Las Vegas battling their way back. Cameron Dunbar opening the scoring on the quarter of an hour after a lovely ball from Remy Cabral, but Danny Trejo with an expertly taken goal 19 minutes later to restore parity. This is a good one. Yeah. You see that? A bit of lightning he just struck. I certainly hope it's not the case. It could cause a delay. Yeah. Play resumes. Saldana for Lamb. Cabral. Better movement. Rudisil. Rudisil just 16. Tay is 17. Dunbar 19. Isingwe 19. Actually, four teenagers in the first 11. Here's Lamb attacking the space. Cleared away. Shepherded to safety by Alex Lara. Isingwe. Okay. Off on an adventure. He's made f a few runs from that center yeah. back position tonight. Yeah. He's a natural central midfielder. You saw a lot of that in 2021 under then head coach Junior Gonzalez. Goes wide to the right hand side and all the way up for Lopez who comes outside of his penalty area. Clearance only as far as Jorge Almaguer. And Almaguer just harassed there by Saldana. Hey, can't watch the match? Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including US All, All Access, Tuesday nights at 7 Eastern. Plus, you can hear live matches from the USL, MLS, English Premier League, and much, much more. It's all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the SXM app. Dying moments of the first half. Can't believe we've come this far, but mid-October in the final game of the USL Championship regular season. What a wild ride it's been. Galaxy officially eliminated from playoff contention Sunday night in that loss to Atlanta United. Real bitter pill for them to swallow is and led the way throughout much of the game. Dunbar sending them on their way eight minutes after kickoff, but then Atlanta United getting three goals in the last 15 minutes. Here's Lamb. Cabral. Trying to finish the first half on a positive note. Here's Saldana. Team MLS appearances for Adam Saldana, who brings that experience and pedigree to the center of midfield. Doyle, no pressure from Jennings, trying to make it uncomfortable. Isingwe, Tellez, he's got himself caught here. A chance now for Las Vegas to capitalize. Jennings into a deeper role. Squares it for Almaguer, who lifts one over the head of Trejo. Las Vegas able to keep possession. Here's Torres, who's drifted wide on the right-hand side. Steers it across. Jennings goes to ground, and no call from the referee, who's clearly not interested. And Danny Trejo, who's once again revealed himself on this left-hand side. Trejo pulls it across, and it was a delicious ball for Cal Jennings, who couldn't steer it on target. And the Galaxy left off the hook one more time. My goodness, that could have been catastrophic yeah. to conceded first half stoppage time. Another look at it here. Yeah, Trejo's just 
way too good at getting down low on that left foot. Serves a delicious ball, like you said, to Jennings. And Jennings, that's the second one I think he finds back post where he's just not able to get his feet right and get a touch on it. Well, that's going to do it. First half in the books. It started well here for LA Galaxy, but credit the fight back from Las Vegas who have one eye on the playoffs, Brian. Yeah, I think both teams got to go to the locker room pretty happy with it, but we'll see how they come out into the second half. Well, plenty to work on, and we'll see what both Marcelo Sarvis as well as Enrique Duran say to their charges at the break, but 45 minutes down and still 45 minutes left in this USL Championship regular season. Halftime here at Dignity Health Sports Park, LA Galaxy 2-1, Las Vegas Lights FC 1. Stop it. Yo, roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left. What? <laughs> Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. What? Welcome back to Dignity Health Sports Park here in Carson, California. The final game of the USL Championship regular season here in the Western Conference. 
At the break, it's LA Galaxy 2-1-1 against Las Vegas Lights. Let's confirm the setup for you right now. In eighth position, just above Lights, is El Paso Locomotive, who are officially eliminated by way of tiebreaker, which is held by Oakland Roots. However, Roots, losers earlier today, away to Pittsburgh Riverhounds, three goals to one, have left the door open, and a victory today more Las Vegas Lights will see them take that seventh spot and move on to the USL Championship playoffs, brought to you by Hisense. So indeed, everything to play for. They've shown every bit of that fight and grit with the playoff hopes on the line tonight. They have, and we've definitely been able to see that in their play tonight. Let's take a look at some of the other scores here. Brian Jordan around the league. It was San Antonio and Orange County full-time in Texas, 2-2. Rio Grande Valley, who has actually came into this round level on points with Oakland, getting a big three points, securing their playoff fate with a big win over Frank Gallup and Monterey Bay. New Mexico United continue to roll two goals to nil over Colorado Springs. And Sacramento Republic, midway through the second half, three goals to nil over Landon Donovan and San Diego Loyal SC. So a big night here the final night of the USL Championship regular season. We take a look at some of the well, storylines throughout the season. And what can you say about Preston Judd? He's been magnificent. In fact, the G2 leader in regular season goals here, Brian, and tying Ari Lasseter. Wow, that's a big step for him. I, I, every time I've come up here in the booth, I've seen him as like that player to watch, and he's done so well. A bit up and down with card accumulation, but uh, as he finds himself on the field, he's always producing. Well, this will be our final USL Championship broadcast for LA Galaxy 2. They, along with Las Vegas Lights, by the way, heading on to MLS Next Pro in 2023. And G2 trying to finish on a high, looking for their 103rd USL Championship win in 270 games. It's been a long row going all the way back to 2014. And well, while we were talking about Preston Judd and what a goal scoring force he's been, Update that stat down there. Cameron Dunbar grabbing his 12th here oh, tonight. Yeah. Yep. Breakout campaign for him. Yes, he's done so well already ahead of time. But coming into this match, he's such a talent. And moving forward, you'd think uh, at some point he's got to get a run with that first team. And I must mention for the USL, it might be one of the last games, but I just want to say it's been such a pleasure working with you. And you deserve all, all the best. And I hope there is more in store for you. Oh, you've been a great mentor to me, and, and I just really appreciate I really it. appreciate the kind words, Brian. Very, very nice of you. And it's been a pleasure. Pleasure's been all mine. It's been a heck of a lot of fun. But we still got still got some work to do, sure. my friend, here. We're going <laughs> to step aside one more time. When we return, we'll take a look at some of the better moments. First half highlights, G2 and Vegas next. SKC, those are good games. Ball played inside. Gordo! This is Robbie Keane from Landon. Back to Donovan on his left foot. Fires. He scores! Four nothing Galaxy. It's the time to act. Esta gente te ama. They walk just to show it for you. And remember, legends never die. And welcome back. 1-1 one, one our score here at halftime between LA Galaxy 2 and Las Vegas Lights. Some positive moments, some open play, plenty of chances, really half chances you'd have to say, and some build-up play to really be applauded. Let's take a look back at some of the better moments of this first half as we roll the highlights. And it started off with Danny Chrysostomo 
and Liam Doyle, the two experienced heads, exchanging salutations, and then the Galaxy really set on their way. Michael Salazar knocking on the door early on, and then playing the role of provider for Cameron Dunbar, who slithers his way around, sets it up for the Belizean striker who couldn't take his chance. Galaxy continue their flurry of opportunities here, yeah. Bryant, getting it wide out for Cabral, and knocked home by Cameron Dunbar. One thing I'm noticing here is how involved Salazar's been on each one of these plays. You mentioned his name. He's been really doing well. On this one, Dunbar doing such a good job, like I was saying, peeling off that back post. Great sizzling ball uh, from, from uh, Cabral there and Dunbar getting on the end of it. But you know, you gotta credit Las Vegas. They fought their way back into it and they got the goal. Gaines chested down by Trejo. Goal number 14 on the campaign, just like that. Las Vegas back in it on the 34th. Yeah, as this game has really built forward, there's been a lot of more possession shift towards Las Vegas. And on this, Trejo has been very dangerous. And uh, coming out in the second half, we'll see what, how G2 looks to solve that. The kid from the Fresno area keeping their playoff hopes alive, but still some work to do. 1-1 our scoreline, second half from Carson. Next. What's stopping? Now is the time to act. Esta gente te ama. They walk just to show up for you. And remember, legends never die. Tonight in Carson at Dignity Hill Sports Park, Las Vegas, away to LA Galaxy 2-1-1 our score. Let's break down the numbers here, Brian Jordan. As you look at these stats, what jumps out at you? Well, the 53% on the G2 side, uh, that ball possession isn't very telling of the way the ball, the, the game was going in the very end of the first half. There's been a lot more possession and more dangerous chances from Las Vegas. Yeah, indeed. In fact, Las Vegas really growing into the game, the better team after that 15th minute goal from Cameron Dunbar. So I'm sure some adjustments being discussed right now yes. for Marcelo Sarvis as we get set for the start of the second half. Shots on goal one for LA Galaxy two, just two opportunities for Las Vegas lights. And of course, a foremost concern, turning those half chances into legitimate scoring chances What's it gonna take here to really turn the screw for, for both of these two? I, I've asked that question a whole bunch with G2. Some games, they come on and the finishing is there. And some certain games, they come on and it's everything but that final ball. Whereas, you know, we've seen in this first half, uh, Trejo's been serving up Jennings on very dangerous plays. So it's more one of those things where you just gotta keep your head and be on the end of it and be ready for when it comes. A couple of yellow cards dealt to Owen Lamb and Brandon Tejas making his first ever start as a professional. A chance for he is long, along with his LA Galaxy Academy teammate, Paolo Rudisil, the two teenagers in midfield. Been a big ask for them tonight. It has been. Rudisil didn't find himself too often early, but towards the end, we found him being dangerous. And I think, really, Tejas has done a great job in the midfield. He's turned over a few, but a very good connected player, and I've been very happy with him. You can see it, a good understanding there with Saldana in that number six position, so a good blend of youth yes. and experience. We'll see what's on tap here. Is LA Galaxy 2 perhaps getting set to make a switch from the outset of the second half? Riley Delgado getting set to come in. The 16-year-old, you can play on the left-hand side of defense. And a chance to look at him, made his professional debut, coming on as a sub on Wednesday night for Josh Track, and that will be the man he 
comes in for, so a change, really like for like, for Marcelo Sarvis. So Riley Delgado from the LA Galaxy Academy, another one of those teenagers, so make it five wow. in the 11 right now as we get set for the start of half number one, or number two, rather. Las Vegas Lights fighting their way back, but remember, this is a team that needs a win. A yes. draw doesn't do them any good to make the playoffs. They're two points adrift at that final playoff spot in the Western Conference, currently occupied by Oakland Roots. So everything to play for with a season on the line is the USL Championship playoffs presented by Hisense begin one week from tonight. And a substitution here for Las Vegas. We'll see the likes of Dekel K9, the 38-year-old Israeli slotting into central defense. So it looks as though we're going to see an expansive approach as they may go with three at the back here. We'll see how it shakes out. So Julian Gaines off. Second half is in play. LA Galaxy 2 had the lead in white and will start us off in possession amidst the lightning strikes in the background. Hopefully that won't transpire into any lengthy or any delay whatsoever. But in Las Vegas able to get it back and Jorge Almaguer puts it into the path for Jennings. Lovely support here and they come out firing from the get-go as Torres arrived. It's a good hold up play from Jennings. So the two substitutions changing things up just a bit. And over the head there, Leone. So he'll move over to a right side and roll in defense yep. here, Leone, in replacement of Julian Gaines, Gaines. And allowing the substitute K9 to take up his role alongside Lara on the right hand side of that central defensive pairing. But they've given it away now, and it's Torres. It's Christian Torres trying to give Las Vegas their first ever lead tonight. Well blocked, and now a chance for LA Galaxy 2 to break. This is Remy Cabral for the goal scorer. Cameron Dunbar with a full head of steam behind him. Leaves it out, and that's a poor ball from Dunbar, making it easy for Almaguer. Yeah, when you have your wingers like that that like to cut in, certain times I'm thinking for the, the sake of the runs on the back door, I think coming outside and allowing your, your team to get in the box a little more is somewhat more beneficial, but. Here's Leone. Overcooks the cross over the head of both Torres and Jennings, so it'll come out for the goal kick. Lopez making a super save for LA Galaxy 2 in the first half, denying Las Vegas at close range. She's really grown into this season. Eric Lopez with five clean sheets. Defending really hasn't been their strong suit, though. G2, just six shutouts in the entirety of this season. They're on the front foot here with Dunbar. He has the overlap of the substitute, Delgado. He's trying to stretch that defense in the first touch of the game for Dekel K9. It's a hopeful ball for an onside. Danny Trejo, he's got Jennings sprinting. It's squared across. And a wonderful angle taken by Liam Doyle. Showed his experience in defense. A yeah, great recovery run. Uh, this first ball is played so early and gets in so behind. Kind of has all the time in the world to just play it across the box and let the forward kind of get on the end of it. So Doyle, if he's not in that position, uh, that's just a tear for, for G2. Third corner of the evening for Las Vegas. It'll come on that opposite right-hand side where Danny Chrysostomo We'll take it, wearing the captain's armband tonight, the 25-year-old from Fontana, California. Someone of a dead ball specialist, and what a delivery it was with the referee spotting the infringement inside that six-yard box. My goodness, O'Brien, how about this delivery from Danny Chrysostomo? He serves the ball in pretty dang well. In the first half, too, with the, the amount of speed, and for me as a striker, when it's curling back towards me, you're able to get a lot more oomph out of the strength of that header, and so I feel like those are really dangerous. 
Tears. Dispossessed by Quesada. This is Chris Ostomo. The steady head. Las Vegas really growing in and dominating possession in the last 20 minutes or so. Quesada fights through the challenge of Cabral. Let's come out wide to the left-hand side for Trejo. This is Almaguer. Can play some good football. Las Vegas, when they're on their game, Leone can't control it, but able to get it back. Here's Jennings, who's dropped deep. Good show here from Cal Jennings. Unobscured and a good save by Lopez. No one closing down Jennings, who just wheeled his way around and call, called his own number. Yeah, these are a little bit of tricky plays for, for a defensive back because uh, Dunbar does a good job to pressure the initial ball, but once he kind of loses out on that tackle, he's running at the back line now and no one knows who to step to it. Lopez coming up huge again down to his left. Uh, tricky, another tricky play. Took an awkward bounce there yeah. for the Los Angeles keeper. Did well to parry. Not succumb a rebound. So Chrysostomo on this near side. And Los Angeles will prepare for the outswinger. And Chrysostomo, another good looking ball this time, met by the head of Doyle. And Chrysostomo's cross to that far post over the head of Lamb. And just nipping in there is Remy Cabral, who did well. Only had one man to beat. And I tell you what, that's an important challenge yeah. to really stem the counterattack. Unless he's off to the races. Now the journey to glory begins coming up on Saturday, October 22nd, when the USL Championship playoffs presented by Hisensi begin on ESPN+. Plus. The drama continues leading up to the USL Championship final Sunday, November 13th at 9 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2 and ESPN Deportes. Here's Rudis Hill for Michael Salazar. Was I've been expecting that offside flag to go up, but it stays down. Here's Cabral, the overlap from Lamb, squares it across. Didn't quite connect with that square ball. Once again, that final ball lacking is Trejo up to his old tricks. Support from Torres, now Chrysostomo, and Leone makes the attacking run on the overlap down this right-hand side. Good play from Leone. Closed down nicely by Riley Delgado. The young 16-year-old. My goodness. This will make you feel old. He just turned 16 in August, Brian. <laughs> My goodness. Thanks for the reminder. Wasn't even alive at the <laughs> World Cup in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that for a minute. Yeah. Here's Remy Cabral. His brother, Kevin, came on as a Second half substitute for that win for Los Angeles. In the first round of the MLS Cup playoffs today. LA Galaxy moving on after a 1-0 triumph over Nashville SC. They will take on LAFC this Thursday. First things first, LAFC's affiliate tonight. Las Vegas Lights in action trying to forge their way into the playoffs as Daroma goes to ground, wins this. LA Galaxy able to win this free kick. Now celebrating its 75th anniversary, Select is proud to be the official match ball supplier of the USL Championship. Choose what you play with at www.selectsportamerica.com. Select league's choice, player's choice. This is DeRoma. You were telling me off air, he found the game in the first quarter of an hour, but kind of faded out in the first half. Yeah, we were thinking about what changes, and it wasn't necessarily a negative. They Found a lot more of the game and possession and dangerous dangerous balls into the box, but he went a little bit missing. Chrysostomo. K9. Former Israeli international, making 27 appearances for his country. Now in the twilight of his career, here's Saldana running into the challenge. Oh. 
Christian Dora, Torres putting himself about and the referee issuing a yellow card here against Adam Saldana. Fifth yellow card of the season two, against two, the two. LA Galaxy two midfielders. So a little precarious on this free kick. It's going to set up just the left side of the Galaxy penalty area. Chrysostomo we talked about his supply line. He's put in some sumptuous balls. There's confirmation of the booking. You're going to look at caution tonight, Saldana. You're going to look at this ball and all the runners getting right across the keeper to get in front of that vision, make it very difficult on him. And uh, as we said, he's got a great service. Yeah, Lara in there as well, along with Leone. Chiefly amongst the targets. It'll be Chrysostomo driving one in. Found his way to Trejo. Flighted balls were a problem last weekend against Atlanta United, but it appears that Galaxy showing some improvement in that regard this evening. Yeah. One thing we say on set pieces is it's got to clear that first man. If it doesn't, you know, you've done a good job on the defensive line. Here's Daroma. Good one two game, flag down for Treo. Out in front, trouble for LA. Once again, let off the hook. The second time tonight, we've seen one fizzed across the goal mouth, and no one latching onto it for Las Vegas. The Trejo to Jennings service has just been, uh, that train's been missed tonight, but it's not to say it hasn't been dangerous. They scored 25 of Light's 40 goals between them yeah. this season. They've been magnificent. And really one of the big reasons why they are in this position with a chance to qualify for the playoffs. Another look at this. Yeah. As he gets slipped in behind, Trejo picks up his head and is able to find, just puts in a dangerous spot. Jennings uh, unable to get on the end of this again. I'm sure he's as, just as frustrated being, you know, three yards out, but great he's, places. He's, he's just put there. off there by Eric Lopez. Oh, was there a touch there? Yeah, maybe I missed that. It's enough to hinder the run there and sure. give Jennings something to think about. Yeah, true. Sure. Here's Delgado, the halftime sub. Higher pressure down from Las Vegas. Isingue. I'm always thinking, give me any reason to run into the goalkeeper, you know? So. <laughs> Kamikaze attacking, right? <laughs> yeah. And we remember you, Mr. Jordan. <laughs> Love that approach to the game. They can use some of it tonight. Here's Treo. Once again, we're right back to work. Chrysostomo. Two players with a lot of experience at this level. Shifty operators and a great understanding of the game. Here's Leone, now a right full back with Gaines on the bench. Lara. Almaguer can't quite dig it out. Good movement out of the back and Quesada attacks from his left back roll. Galaxy can't clear their lines, Daroma. For Treo, something brewing here. Treo wants it on that left. He fires and it's blocked. And the rebound for Quesada stopped cold. Another magnificent save from Eric Lopez. Yeah, Lopez absolutely smothers this. Uh, worm burner from about, you know, eight, ten yards out. Just gets a touch on it and just kills it instantly. No chance for a follow-up. Great touch. It is not easy to get down that quick from that, that distance. Really grown into this game. He's taken a leap forward in my estimation. This last third of the season, Eric Lopez. Looks as though he's the clear cut number one. We see second substitution here for Los Angeles. It'll be Carlos Harvey, the Panamanian. And coming back into the fray. Harvey returning from his three-match ban on Wednesday night. Came on as a sub for the last six minutes. So we'll see Tellez's shift over. And what did you make of the first 59 minutes here for the youngster, Brandon Tellez? Very respectable minutes for him. Really did well to combine his team. Um, 
put himself in. We talked about in the early goings about finding that right place defensively and cutting off angles, and I think he did that as the game grew. Um, very well done. I was happy with this play. That'll be Harvey coming into a central midfield role. He's naturally more comfortable. He's been utilized as a central defender by Johan Deme. Provides a muscular presence. Had some bounce with discipline. Saw him sent off last month away to Orange County. Saw him get a three-match ban. One thinks if he could kind of temper that side of his game, the sky's the limit on that senior team contract as well. He's made some appearances in Major League Soccer. He could use his experience trying to see this one out. Matreo's drifting between the lines. Torres supported by Lara to the left fullback here. Avro Quesada from Lancaster. Good understanding with Almaguer. And lights settling into their possession. K9. It'll come all the way back for Owen Lamb. Dalgado. Galaxy trying to pass their way out of pressure. It's given away by a singue. Cushioned header from Chrysostomo for Daroma. This is Al Maguer. The overlap on the left from Quesada, who's becoming more integrated into these Las Vegas attacking movements. Rudisil, though, has got in now, and a chance for Los Angeles to break on a 3v3. Paulo Rudisil, the young teenager, lays it up on the right hand side, offside against Cameron Dunbar. Yeah. That one kind of disappointingly disseminates. Yeah. Uh, kind of took the air out of that play. Great first ball from uh, Cabral to find that into um, Rudisil. But then once he gets closer and closer to the 18, just all of it, it just got, the plate got deflated. And then you get too far up the field and your player finds himself offsides. So it'll be Eric Duenas. Mexico under 17 from Los Angeles. So another look at it here, Brian. Yeah, as you see, you have crossing runs right in front of you, which kind of crowds the space. Uh, but with that, I think if you know what you want to do and you get a touch to the side and then just bang one yourself, or if you find that earlier so Dunbar can run in onto it, then it's much better than letting the play get that far forward. And Duenas, 17 years of age couple of appearances for LAFC in Major League Soccer in 2021, coming through that academy. So he'll take up a role in what appears to be on the right-hand side of this Las Vegas midfield. Dwayne Yessi, versatile character, also spending some time at right fullback. This is a Las Vegas team that need a goal. They've got just under a half an hour to get it. All the way back to Abe Romero. Hasn't had much to do despite being beaten once early on. Great turn. Lovely turn it was. And Rudisil gives it away. LA squandering their possession. Yeah, the second half has been more of a uh, dispossessed for G2's midfield and back line, which has resulted in some chances for Las Vegas. Well, whatever the case for Las Vegas Lights, is a team that's taken great strides this year. Finished 21 points off the playoffs in 2021. Dead last in their division in the Western Conference, just six wins last year, but really turned a corner. Love to finish it off with a place in the postseason. Here's Delgado, Doyle, wow. trying to play their way out of pressure. And they solve it well, Rudisil. 
Just hounded there by Duaneus and the foul committed by the Las Vegas substitute. That was an impressive little bout of passes there in the corner. And here's Akers of space now for Saldana to run into. Has the option of Lamb. Plenty of targets, and Lamb once again kind of scuffs his square ball across. Those balls are difficult as it's played down the front line and you're trying to take that first touch. That's why I tell, you know, the wingers, take that first touch, get get a sense of the ball, and then hit it so you can get it into the box with pace. Easier said than done. It is, but at, at that angle when it's coming down, you have to match your speed with it, and it's very difficult to hit that first time and make it a good ball. Well, it's Lamb, a natural attacking player, converted to a right back from his natural winger position. He's linked up nicely with Harvey. Good ball out. Cabral arrives and gets it all wrong in the end. And once again, the Galaxy's final ball really leaving a bit to be desired. So as we mentioned, though, that, that first time, you really do. When you're running side by side with the ball and you take a touch to yourself, it makes it much easier. Uh, a lot of the times you see these errant balls, it's the guys picking their head up back post, and then by the time they they find the ball again, it's 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 an off target. The LA Galaxy 2 could use a semblance of possession, but they're not going to get it as Dunbar just loses his traction. Hey, don't miss a minute of the action in 2022. Whether your club is on the road or at home, you can catch every second of the USL Championship action on ESPN+. Plus. The home to the USL, MLS, La Liga, the Bundesliga, UFC, and much, much more. Just sign up today at plus.espn.com. It's two trading blows in the first half. Harvey... It's caught from behind by Duenas, who solidifies the center of midfield, supported by Almaguer, trying to seek out Trejo. Duenas overcoming an anterior cruciate ligament injury. Missed most of the season, coming back in August, and just trying to reestablish his rhythm. He's impressed early on here in his substitute appearance. Operating in that central area of midfield. It's come out wide for Quesada. This is Trejo dropping deeper. And a lovely one, too, with Almaguer. No Closed down by Lamb. Did well to stand up the dangerous Las Vegas attacker. Yeah, that Trejo-Lamb battle has been a good one tonight. Leone won't get to this diagonal. It'll come out for LA Galaxy 2 goal kick. Hey, you can't watch the match. Turn on Sirius XM FC 157, North America's only 24-7 source for engaging soccer talk, including USL All Access, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. Plus, you can hear live matches from the USL, MLS, English Premier League, and more. It's all on Sirius XM FC 157 and the SXM app. Quesada you know, knocks it down, and here's Salazar's. Might have drifted between midfield and that Las Vegas back four. It's kind of a quiet figure after a strong start. Here's Riley Delgado, the 16-year-old, for Cameron Dunbar, the 19-year-old. Good return service. Delgado continues his run, and that's better. Galaxy haven't seen much of that tonight running in behind. Positive signs for the hosts. Yeah. This is a chance uh, Delgado gets to get forward into the offense. Dunbar finds a little cheeky ball through, takes a deflection, but a dangerous play for the G2. Third substitution, Torres off, and Christopher Jaime from San Diego, the 18-year-old. He's in the center of midfield, comes on. So Torres' shift is over. Here's Harvey, just trying to establish his own presence in the heart of that LA Galaxy 2 midfield setup. Awkward ball for Lamb, who did well. Yeah. Had the skill to even give the ball a kiss there, you see that? 
He's got some sweet feet. <laughs> but Veligaxi too, a little disjointed. Trying to get back to that quick tempo. Here's Harvey, he's drifted wide to the left. Dunbar, the first time touch for Delgado. Trying to fill out the width here on this left-hand side, but Jaime able to snip in and take it off the feet of Carlos Harvey. Crisostomo locates Duenas, who in turn finds his way to Christopher Jaime, who just came on moments ago. Chrysostomo. Las Vegas trying to maintain their composure with everything on the line. Still needing a goal or their season will be over. Coming in at ninth, but trying to finish in seventh. Here's Danny Chrysostomo, that midfield general. Duenas now for Jaime, who's reverted to a central role. Almaguer. Good support on that left-hand side from Alvaro Quesada. He's been their Swiss Army knife. Quesada showing it right here. Good link-up play, but flag is up against Jennings. Offside once again, and we've seen a lot of that this evening. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out, I think G2 very happy to keep the ball in front of them there, but those, those balls that are served in behind your midfield line, very dangerous as that one just almost resulted in a, in a shot inside the box. So Rudis Hill will come off for Los Angeles and stepping on is Axel Picasso, a 21-year-old. Rudis Hill on his first start here at home, back-to-back -back starts after featuring in the first 11 in that Wednesday loss at New Mexico. Third substitution for Los Angeles. Picasso coming on and you know, making his 19th appearance as a substitute this season. Only four starts for Picasso has missed the first couple of months with injury. Just hasn't settled into that groove that we saw in 2021. They're on the back foot now. And here's the goal scorer trail. Slips around one. Absolutely brilliant. He's got Jaime waiting and he may have taken up the wrong option. <laughs> yeah, I'm Trejo has been so difficult for our back line, but I, my one note here is how many times has he put it low on his left? He's going there. Be aware of it. Just doesn't find Jaime on the cutback. He decides to go on it his own and uh, doesn't get the best result. Good angle taken defensively by sure. Liam Doyle, but they do succumb. Their fifth corner. Chrysostomo will trot over to take it. And it'll be Lopez trying to organize his defense. Both teams with two substitutes left. And Grisostomo's delivery to the far post, and it was Lopez flapping at it. In the end, it was overcooked, and it'll come out for a Los Angeles goal kick. Eric Lopez, players we mentioned really growing into his position. 23 year old from Westminster. They're getting his fifth consecutive start in between the sticks for LA Galaxy 2. Trying to just cement his future with this organization. K9, all the way back to Abe Romero, the former LA Galaxy 2 goalkeeper who competed with Lopez for the gloves. Not a lot of options. Eventually finding its way to Jaime, who's dispossessed now, and a chance for Los Angeles to break. Here's Picasso. He's got magic in those boots, little Axel Picasso. Full of all kinds of invention yeah. and technique. The kind of player they say that gets rear ends out of seats. Axel Picasso. <laughs> Get him up. It's Las Vegas back in possession where they have been large stretches of this game. All the way.
way back to Romero. Leone, his header only as far as Doyle smartly played for Dunbar, who's on his way now. He's got goal side of Duaneus, who recovers nicely, supported by Harvey. Wow, three players closing that ball down into the corner. Yeah, swarming. Bees to the hive. And Harvey, not his best moment. Second half, it's lacked a little bit of urgency here in the last five minutes or so. Lara for Alvaro Quesada, Christopher Jaime. He's drifted over to that left-hand side, twisting and turning, and he's done well past Saldana. Couldn't beat the trio of Los Dos defenders. Galaxy just trying to reestablish some of that dominance they had in the first 15 minutes, and they were knocking it around well, able to get in behind. Here's Delgado. Salazar showing, trying to play it for an onside Cameron Dunbar. It will switch it out wide for Axel Picasso, where he's most comfortable facing up against Quesada. And it's Picasso with a couple of step overs. He's impeded. However, Las Vegas able to win the free kick. Yeah, those ones, after playing a midi and a, a left and right back, when you look at this again, with all those those step overs, I always use that time to kind of get a little bit closer to them and then just body them out, and that's exactly what ended up happening. A lot of the times you see Picasso skin a guy like that, but in this play, it doesn't end up on the positive side. Yeah, the jury's out on those step overs. Yes. As far as I'm concerned, it does give defenders time to set. Sure. If you're coming out with that kind of game, you better be able to skin your defender. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> That's why I always try to keep it simple. Get them close enough to me and then just bump it past and use the speed to burst. Yeah, in those old days, Cristiano Ronaldo, when he was at Manchester oh, United, yes. boy, he would really draw yes. the ire of his teammates like Ryan Giggs, Nicky Butt, David Beckham with those step overs. Kind of stamp that out of his game. The rest that, is history. Yeah, that he has, though. I mean, the efficiency that guy has is crazy. Not a bad player. Yeah. To say the least. One one the score. Cameron Dunbar giving LA Galaxy two the lead after 15 minutes, but it was Danny Trejo on the 34th to equalize with a sensationally taken goal. Here's Leone. As Duenas looking to run those channels, but it falls flat and easy for Lopez. Duenas has been pretty Pretty offensively critical going forward the second half. He's done well to connect his team. Saldana for Los Angeles. Room to operate now for Owen Lamb, who attacks that space so well day in, day out. The one-two game not quite there with Cabral, who couldn't find the return. It's left space now as Jennings facing up against a Singue, gusts his way right past the Galaxy defender. It's Cal Jennings denied. And great coverage back there by the experienced Liam Doyle. Doyle does so well in this play. He, as, as the other center back here, he has to keep that, that last man spot. But he picks the perfect time to just commit over. He knows that has to be him, and then gets a foot on it before. Uh, Lopez is down on the floor there. That could have found the front post. So well done from Doyle. But then again, you see the flip side, an attacking fullback leaving that space in behind. Sure. Attacked well by Jennings. Yes. Sixth corner. Skyball all the way up for Jaime. Quesada serves it in, and there is Owen Lamb. Well, the journey to the glory begins coming up on Saturday, October 22nd, when the USL Championship playoffs presented by Hisense begin on ESPN+. Plus. The drama continues leading up to the USL Championship final on Sunday, November 13th at 9 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN2 as well as ESPN Deportes. Final game of the regular season. 
Eclipse as the Galaxy are going to make their final couple of switches. Dante Campbell, as well as Taylor Davila, getting set to come on momentarily. Saldana going the direct route, but underneath it is K9. It falls fortuitously for an onside. Remy Cabral, who once again just overhits it, but it's retrieved on the opposite side by Picasso. And Picasso's cross. Romero came to claim, and it was there for the taking. Delgado could have stolen the show and sunk in Las Vegas hearts. But the volley, well high of goal. A scary moment back there for the visitors. Yeah, we spoke about Picasso coming in, and that was a bit of class with that service. Those are the service that G2 needs. Uh, dips down right inside the box, right on player's foot. Oof, close for G2. So we'll see what's in the offing. It's going to be Lamb coming off. Dante Campbell on for Owen Lamb. Played a variety of roles this season. Dante Campbell had to deputize in central defense for a space of Three games or so, the Canadian former under 20 coming on for the 20th time as a substitute. And we'll see Salazar off for Taylor Davila. Man down here for Las Vegas Lights in goal. It's not the keeper, but it's going to be Salazar off. So Davila and Campbell on. Seems more defensive here. So concerned is the player being tended to by the Las Vegas medical staff. Salazar on target on Wednesday, and here comes Taylor Davila, the former Cal Golden Bear. Is a cultured, possession-oriented game. Can get a foot on the ball. The kind of player you want to come in to kill off matches. <coughs> very good with the game in front of him. And two very adept passers with both Davila as well as Saldana slotting into central midfield roles. I believe it was Dekel K9 who kind of came down awkwardly. K9 came on as a halftime sub for Gaines. So see if we'll have to make any more changes for Enrique Duran's side. Can't say enough about the job he's done. Came through the academy system said the most difficult thing for him to do this year, Brian, was you know not just focus on development, but I've got to balance it with results. And yeah. he's got done a good job of both. So they'll see a, a change here. And we'll see Nathan Ordaz, the 18-year-old from Van Nuys, who plays internationally for El Salvador at the under-20 level. Unused last weekend against Miami. And a guy who can play anywhere across the front, Ordaz. So play resumes. Here's Davila. Has the overlap from Campbell, who's come up at right fullback. And it was there for Cabral. Couldn't set his feet right, and he's come up the worst for wear. So Ordaz coming on. It looks as though K9's off. Still one more substitute available for Las Vegas. Meanwhile, Remy Cabral will be tended to. They only have got seven minutes left here, Las Vegas, or their season is over. Two points adrift of Oakland Roots, who are no doubt watching this one nervously. Yeah. But their postseason hopes on the line in equal measure. It's been cagey. It's kind of lulled itself to sleep here in the second half. And one thinks that you know, we might see some more urgency here in the last few moments. Certainly expect to with Las Vegas needing that goal and needing the three points 
if they do want to qualify for the USL Championship playoffs brought to you by Hisense for the first time in club history. Yeah, not surprised to see that last sub getting Ordaz up for They might go to the three backs, which I think they just did. Uh, really needing to commit numbers forward here, uh, especially with what's on the line for the season for them. Whereas G2 is happy just to kind of sit in. You saw that with the sub with Davila. Kind of Cabral goes up top, but more just to sit in and clog up passing lanes and try to kill this game out. So Remy Cabral. Remember, Dallas had used all of their substitutes here. Here's Campbell's ball across. Here's how he did it. Just came down awkwardly, didn't he? Yeah. Look like, you know, you never know what a player is nursing. So when it comes in like that, it kind of hits you. Not expected. You go to strike the ball. Twist, ankle, knees, all that stuff. Hope he's all right. Yellow card against Duenas is gotten a little too conversational for the referee's liking. Enrique Duran, the Las Vegas Lights manager is booked. Putting his possession-oriented style, as you would expect for someone who came for the Barcelona Academy, but it's broken in for Cameron Dumber. He's got a lot of work to do. Sliding in with good effect is Almaguer, and Las Vegas oh. able to win it back. Los Angeles really haven't offered up much here yeah. on the front foot in the second half. It's kind of fallen flat. See Dunbar take up an attacking role, kind of playing as a false nine yeah. with Davila on the left, Picasso on the right. Here's Duenas for Las Vegas. They need to get it together. It was confirmation of the booking against Enrique Duran. Las Vegas Lights head coach, and that's a wasted ball forward, and that's something they can really ill afford as they're up against it right now. I think on that last possession, uh, Dunbar actually gets dispossessed as he finds himself turned to the midfield with the keeper much off of his, uh, out of his goal. So I think he wanted to give that one a hit, but they lay a tackle and get it before he can put it on frame. Headed down by Saldana. Las Vegas able to reclaim, but to put an end to that is Axel Asingwe. Here comes Abra Mera all the way outside of his penalty area. Empty net. Trying to commit numbers to the attack. Here's Chrysostomo. Leone now for Duenas, who's shifted over to this right hand side. Christopher Jaime, the second half substitute trying to pick that defensive lock. LA trying to play the role of spoiler. They'd love to do it against the LAFC affiliate team in Las Vegas Lights. All 11 behind it now. And really five in the midfield defensively went out of possession. Here's Quesada trying to switch the point of attack and it's cut out by Taylor Davila. Alex Lara. Heavy touch from Jaime, who's able to recover. There's Jennings, who's come out wide on this left-hand side with Ordaz higher up. And Campbell, perfect to be the perfect obstacle, able to win that as he's fouled by the Las Vegas striker and a free kick upcoming for LA. Vegas committing tons of numbers forward right now, but what I'd like to see is just two back set super far apart and get your wingers, uh, your outside backs way up the field as well. At this point, you have not enough time. You need to commit numbers forward. Just surprising lack of urgency, it seems, but it's been puzzling for them. As we look again, now on this left-hand side. Campbell puts himself in a good spot, just knocks knees, easy call. Back the other way for Los Angeles, and this is in. Or Dante Campbell, of all people, who found himself on the edge of the six-yard box, beautifully played in by Dunbar. <laughs> but that's the kind of gamble Las Vegas will be exposed to as they go in search of that winner. No hurry for Taylor Davila. 
time of the essence. Let's take another look at it here. Yeah, Campbell with a huge smile on his face after this opportunity. Gets in behind in a place where he tries to cut it into the defender. Wasn't really successful getting on the inside, but wishes he kind of took a strike. On the in swinger and the header from Doyle for Romero is quickly playing it out now. And Trejo's gotten goal side. Keeper takes up his spot. This could be it, Trejo! No. Oh my goodness, what a chance for Las Vegas Lights. Similar to what we saw in April when Trejo had a breakaway against the very same man, but he couldn't take his chance. And that could be the season for them. A great first time ball from your keeper. Gets in behind. Lopez does such good a job to get to that tweener space. And Trejo gets a shot out of it, but almost is in a spot where he got to dribble the keeper there. Uh, it, outside of the foot, uh, I'm not sure if I like the choice, but how to finish that, but doesn't end up in the back of the net. Tried to pick out that bottom corner, yeah. and Lopez doing just enough. History repeating itself. Will that be the chance that they're left to ponder when all is said and done? Final minute plus added on time. Five minutes will be tacked on. Here's Cameron Dunbar claiming the deflection, so it will be an LA corner kick. And LA doing everything they can to spoil these playoff plans. You do really got to appreciate the urgency from uh, Romero. Keeper's been coming out of the goal, getting balls, really showing his team there's real need of urgency here. So Davila standing over this one, just the second corner on the outswinger. Doyle was there, but so too was Lara, who was first to it. And now a chance for Trejo to break. Campbell coming back and defending well. As we move into stoppage time, and there's confirmation of the five minutes allotted by the referee. We'll see at least five minutes. Plenty of time for Chris Sostomo and company to scavenge up a winner. Left hand side. Good intervention by Dante Campbell. Campbell's done so well to come in here and be a plug for that right side. Yeah, a player that just does what he's asked to do, and he's done it to a very good aplomb. Ordaz, who's cut a quiet figure since coming off the bench moments ago. Leone will recirculate it. Quesada on that left. He arrives, and Quesada to the far post over the head of Ordaz. And it'll be a goal kick for Eric Lopez and company. This is better for Las Vegas. They've taken on that exact kind of formation where there's only two at the back, sometimes even just one centrally, getting numbers forward. Uh, as you see this last ball, just a little bit overcooked like we've talked about tonight, the ending service, uh, but still a positive in the last few minutes of this game for Las Vegas. Yeah, that final ball has been beguiling. Yeah, yeah. It's been difficult for Las Vegas. Just haven't had that quality. Had the chance with the likes of Trejo a moment ago. Not much of a sniff otherwise. Four shots on target for the visitors tonight. Here's Taylor Davila. Davila so technically adept. Lovely play from him. The youngster Delgado. Doyle now. Now the urgency is Las Vegas yeah. come out to press. They need this ball and they need it now. Davila. Trying to play it for that inside channel run on Axel Picasso, and it's come up. This is Jaime trying to knock it forward for Ordaz to no avail. Taking up a higher position is Galaxy defense. Ordaz gets it, though, and there may be one last chance in the offing. Trejo, the flag is wow. up on that left-hand side against Duenas. And time and time again, we've seen that offside flag put an end to Las Vegas Lights attacking moves. I think that was on a three on two. Out of all plays, you do not want to be offsides. That was the they won. 
You've been there. How, how you're in that position? You need the goal. How difficult it is to hold that run? Great point. Great point. Because you do. You 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 have that advantage. You have that lead. You want to get in behind. Be that goal scorer for your team. But at the same time, in this play, your numbers advantage there. You got to take the smart route and just make sure you are on sides. Long ball, Jennings to chase. Good touch from him. They need the magic. Could they get it once again? Offside against Las Vegas. And it's that same man again, Duenas. Or rather, is it Quesada? It does appear to be the left fullback. And has some words for the assistant referee. It doesn't think he was, but uh, from the angle up here in the booth, it did look like he appeared he was offside. The offside flag equaling the foil of the LA Galaxy 2 defense tonight, putting an end to those good-looking moves out of midfield. Some direct balls that have gone right down G2's throats, going unpunished. Harvey, Davila, lovely flick for Dunbar. Off of Duenas, so a corner kick upcoming. It'll be just the third of the night for Los Angeles. Again, again. Let's go. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. All eyes to the watch. Davila to take. Dunbar is short. Doyle's come forward along with Axel Asingue. The LA Galaxy 2 really in no hurry. And that's going to do it. They fall short, and Las Vegas do not qualify for the USL Championship playoffs. Brought to you by Hisense. They fought their way back in the first half, but they couldn't finish it off in the second, Brian Jordan. Yeah, they had the results fall their way coming into this game. Not for the lack of a good good game tonight, but as far as the final third and getting that last goal, some missed opportunities will be kind of stays with them after tonight. Well, the season is officially over for both of these two and their time in USL Championship has come to an end. It started with Cameron Dunbar and a great start for LA Galaxy 2 as Dunbar tucks away his 12th goal of the campaign, which is a storybook season for him. Credit to Las Vegas who fought their way back into it, but just didn't have that finishing polish tonight. Uh, when you think about it, the, the chances Trejo got at the end, but the Trejo feeding it into Jennings, they just weren't able to convert those dangerous chances. And when you don't do that early in the game, it does usually come back to haunt you. So the road comes to an end, and so does our time up here in the booth. I'd just like to take this time to thank all of you viewers throughout the years here on ESPN Plus that have had a chance to catch USL Championship. A big thanks to you, my friend Brian Jordan. Pleasure was all mine. Also speaking on behalf of one Joe Totino, my usual partner in the booth as well. A big thanks to him and all that he has brought to this organization and these broadcasts. It has been a pleasure bringing you G2 soccer throughout the years. We look forward to the next era and MLS Next Pro with eager anticipation in 2023. But for the time being, 2022 is in the books. LA Galaxy 2 and Las Vegas Lights neither going to the playoffs. The final score tonight from Carson, LA Galaxy 2-1, Las Vegas Lights 1. On behalf of the entire crew and all the good people here at the Diggity, my partner Brian Jordan, this is Christian Miles signing off from one last time. Good night from Carson. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship. <laughs>